are featuring a two-person exhibition with Nairi Bagramian and Jeanette Lavarriere, this now deceased interior designer and furniture maker that she has long admired. About 10 years ago, on a rainy day, Nairi was at this bookstore in New York City and discovered a catalog of Jeanette Lavarriere's work, and she fell in love with it immediately. Through some mutual friends, she was introduced to Jeanette, and she and Nairi struck up a friendship. They started working together, not collaborating per se, but their works would inspire each other. The plexiglass vitrine, which is a main component of our exhibition, is inspired by the architecture of Jeanette's apartment in Paris. It is an architectural environment designed by Nairi, but includes several of Jeanette's mirrors. One of my favorite mirrors is the one titled La Commune. She writes on the side of the mirror Louise Michel, who was one of the lead activists in the Paris Commune. And you see that she's using bullets, and on the front of the case of the mirror, you have actual bullet holes. Nairi referenced this work in a piece she made that same year that was shown at the Neue National Gallery in Berlin. She has recreated it here in our galleries and included two of her drawings in that installation. Freedom is another wonderful work of Jeanette's in the show. It was made after Barack Obama was elected in 2008 and it references Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. In this exhibition, Nairi Bagramian is featuring maquettes and drawings. This is the first time that she has exhibited them publicly. She calls them side leaps. So she talks about them as phantom productions, works that she makes in the studio that she doesn't often show. They're very personal in nature, but they very much inform her larger projects. In our South Gallery, we're featuring one of the more unusual seating arrangements that Jeanette came up with. It was made in the early 1970s, and she jokingly referred to it as the eyebrow and the black eye. The eyebrow being the seating area, and the black eye being the table that sits right in front of it. I find it to be a very warm and inviting environment that encourages you to come and have a seat and take some time to understand the interaction that these two artists had in the brief period of time that they knew each other. <laughs>